The National Library and the National Archives of Singapore will be launching a new exhibition as part of the bicentennial celebrations, titled On Paper, Singapore Before 1867. Rare mats, books, illustrations, as well as manuscripts capturing the earliest records of Singapore, they're all going to be on display. And joining us with more is Tan Hui Sim. She's director of the National Library. Hui Sim, thanks very much for joining us Thank again. Thank you for having me, John and John. All right, so let's talk about this, this theme of, of paper, you know, paper records, paper artifacts. Mm -hmm. um, give us a sense of how significant they've been and are in terms of tracking and tracing Singapore's history. Well, you know, um, maps, books, letters, photographs, all these uh, textual and visual documents uh, provide us information about our past and these have been traditionally been used by historians to construct our history and in the exhibition we have about a hundred over items from the National Library as well as the National Archives collection and about over 50 items from overseas institutions that's been uh, shown for the very first time uh, in the public. And uh, one of the uh, wonderful maps that we have on display is the first landward map of Singapore. It's called mm. the Butte map that was drawn in 1819, very mm. early, late 1819, which provides us a very early glimpse of what Singapore might have looked like. Well, it seems several of the artifacts mm. have actually come from overseas. Right. Uh, we understand. So tell us something about what perceptions of those overseas who had these artifacts, and I'm, I'm assuming that they've lent them to us, yes. that Singapore held an important place for them too. Well, um, when we were doing this exhibition, obviously we were, the exhibits has been really in exhibition has been really enriched by these loans and um, they are, um, how should I put it, um, very important mm. to our history and um, one of the items for example I'll share with you is the treaty, the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1824 mm. that we've learnt about this in history books but yes. very few of us have actually seen it for ourselves. And um, this uh, treaty uh, actually was one that was signed between the two colonial powers of mm. the Dutch and the, uh, the British um, to demarcate their territorial interests in the region into two spheres. Um, and in one article, Article 12 of that treaty, uh, it actually mentions about the withdrawal of the Dutch uh, objections to the British setting up a trading post in Singapore in 1819. Now what happened was when the British set up the trading post, um, the Dutch viewed it as illegal because for them uh, Singapore was part of the Johor Empire and the Johor Sultan was mm -hmm. the vassal. Um, so with this withdrawal um, in 1824 it actually showed how important um, Singapore was uh, for the British and in various uh, European accounts um, you actually find they mentioned about the bustling port that we had and the multicultural nature mm -hmm. of Singapore society in those early yeah, days. There's so a lot of rivalry then. Singapore today. Exactly. So Hui Sim, uh, if, if people are going to see this, um, what are the main things or the main thing, if, if, if I may, um, which one would it be that they have to see uh, when they go for this one? Well, there the are many, many things, but um, we have uh, beautiful maps and very important maps. For example, there is the uh, map that actually, uh, actually is one map, uh, the only two maps in the world, and one is in the exhibition, that actually shows the place name Shabandaria, meaning mm. Harbour Master's Compound. Mm. And um, that actually means, and this map comes from the 17th century, that means that there was a functioning port in Singapore in the 17th century. Um, there are other maps that actually shows um, Singapore Island, which is named um, Pulau Panjang or Long mm. Island. So that mm. was our other name. Um, we have beautiful paintings, watercolors of scenes of Singapore and of religious buildings, for example, uh, Tian Hock King uh, Temple as well as Sri Maramam Temple. Mm. Uh, we have Malay, rare Malay letters written to our first resident, uh, William Farker. So then there are many, many <laughs> wonderful plenty. things uh, to see in the I exhibition. just love looking at old maps. Yeah. So I've got, I've got to be number one at that exhibition. You'll be lining up. 
Thank you, Hui Sim, for You're coming welcome. in to share that with us. That was Tan Hui Sim, Director of the National Library at NLB. On paper, Singapore before 1867. It opens tomorrow at the National Library.